I know the characters of Nigerians, and one need to be, you know, hard on them. You have to work hard to gather them together, especially young people, exuberance. Even here, some of them at the airport were arrested. One of them was arrested for moving about. So these are the problems we encountered. But I'm very sure by tomorrow morning, uh, the flight will take off. Well, the reality is that the flight has been rescheduled to tomorrow. And the, real, the main reason is because of the delay in uh, doing the check-in, because they have to gather them together. Uh, from different hotel, and uh, by the time we will be ready after the check-in, the crew that have been waiting since 9 a.m. had uh, overshot uh, the hour they should have waited because they have a duty hour uh, which is allocated to them, and they had waited from 9 to 2 p.m. So that means uh, they, they already waited five hours, and they are going to have nine hours flight. That is already more than what uh, the, the, the standard. So the authority of the airport said they won't allow us to board. Uh, so this is the real, this is the reality, and then we have to come down. But arrangements have been made to ensure that we all stay together in the same hotel, and that we leave very early tomorrow, 4 a.m. We'll be in the bus, and then we can join the flight early. Earlier on, the Chairman House Committee on Foreign Affairs, Mr. Yusuf Buba, who is part of the delegation to Hungary, where some Nigerians are also waited to be airlifted home, gave us an update from Bucharest on the development. On a daily basis, uh, uh, students are coming in either to Hungary, to uh, Poland, or to Romania, and other uh, neighboring uh, uh, countries uh, to save heaven so they can be evacuated. And I want to commend the officials of the Nigerian embassies and uh, uh, the ministry. They are doing their best because uh, uh, the, most of the students, or almost all the students, have found their way to the borders. Uh, we are, are taken care of by officials of the embassy. And I also want to thank the government of uh, Romania. Uh, for the good thing they have been doing to our children, to our students. They have been really, really helpful and they are cooperating with the Nigerian embassy here. Uh, for those of them that are still in Ukraine, uh, by the grace of God, the government is also uh, doing anything that uh, is humanly possible to see how uh, they are all taken to safety in the course of this conflict. Yeah, it is not 100% student, but uh, about 95% of uh, the first batch that we met with this morning are students. And uh, from there, we also uh, went to the hotel where some other students are being accommodated and we had a chat with them. While uh, the ministry has also made arrangements for uh, students that are in Hungary, in Poland, and I think by tomorrow, uh, other flights will move in to continue the evacuation of uh, the remaining students. And this will be an ongoing uh, process until all students are evacuated back home to safety.